So Nathan Cleverly has switched trainers and is now with Adam Booth. For those of you who don't know who Adam Booth is, Adam Booth is the trainer uh, of David Hay and formerly George Groves and more recently David Price. So, okay, Cleverly has now moved over to Adam Booth. Is this a good partnership? Well, it may be a good partnership. Um, Booth certainly has some skills you can give to Cleverly. Cleverly has fairly fast hands, uh, fairly good. Well, he's got okay movement, but he's got no real punch power. Unlike Groves, Price, and Hay, he's no punch, big punch. He's not a big puncher. So, and Booth's style is very much hit and not get hit. The problem with Cleverly is that beating he took off of Kovalev. I personally think that Kovalev has ruined Nathan Cleverly, and I don't think Nathan Cleverly will ever reach the heights of what he reached when he was WBO champion as a light heavyweight. Uh, to be honest, Nathan Cleverly can tell us all that he's going to be stronger at cruiserweight, but I'm not that convinced that he's going to be that much stronger at cruiserweight, and I'm not sure if he's got the tools to really go on and win a cruiserweight championship. I mean, if he's getting really rocked and beaten up by someone like Kovalev, who is a massive puncher, let's not underestimate that. And I told everybody that that would happen. Um, you know, you've got the likes of Stevenson. Not Stevenson, he's a cruiserweight now. So he's fighting guys like Lebedev, um, Huck, um, Guillermo Jones. You know, those guys at the cruiserweight division. Do you really want to be seeing Nathan Cleverly with the guys like that? Every time I look at Nathan Cleverly now, he looks like a guy that's lost. He seems like a guy who's had his heart taken away from him. And I'm not so sure mentally and emotionally what Adam Booth can give him. But, you know, that's Adam Booth's job to turn Nathan Cleverly around. We'll see what happens. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Adam Booth and Nathan Cleverly are now a partnership. How long do you think the partnership will last? Will it last at all? And do you think Adam Booth can give Nathan Cleverly some form of uh yeah, i don't know more skills and finally do you really think nathan cleverly is good enough to win a world title at cruiserweight i do know one fight that'll probably get made which is cleverly versus value two people would love to see that fight i'm sure i would back value to win the second fight you know this time around i really would but those are my thoughts i'm out